Hey guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So I have the start of a new series, I'm gonna call it the Battle Mansion Testing Ground. So what I'm mostly gonna be doing here is testing out a few new teams and mostly just, you know, kinda hanging out. Sometimes it'll be a, more of a hangout, I'll just be talking to you guys, other times it'll just be random battles. But here I'm not gonna be talking too much, we're gonna be doing... Well, this time we're not gonna be doing Team Plus, we'll be doing the other team. But... I have a new team on the way, still has a lot of kinks to work out, but, no, I don't, no, but it should be done soon. And when this new Hoenn remake comes out, I'm definitely going to do the Battle Mansion, that's going to be a lot better in this one, assuming they have it, but that would be kind of stupid not to have, they'd be like, kind of like Goku, not in DBZ or ice cream without any ice cream. Not that it makes any sense, but hey. And we'll go to party. Let's get this out the way. It's nice that it has a triple... I mean, not a triple, a... Well, that's too, but it's nice it has a super option where the, it's not baby Pokemon are not getting bum rushed by Weedles and stuff, but at the same time it can't respect it can't replace the human opponent because it's kinda dumb as a rock sometimes. Other times it's brilliant. It kinda depends on its mood. Even if it's tough, even if it's painful, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna train our dang nabbit. Okay, more power to you, buddy. Riding Star Jamie. Who does Riding Star Jamie remind me of? I wanna make a joke, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I'm in a good mood. Interesting. Well. One thing I've learned in my competitive battle, if you see a threat they can reasonably take out in one hit, take it. Don't play around with it. But Trick Room's gonna be pretty good. Most of these Pokemon are pretty decently fast, even Gyarados. 80 isn't really super fast, but... If it was a human opponent, it would of course either switch out or take, but since it's computer, it's gonna be a different ball game. And this is pretty much exactly what I mean. I'm gonna really be surprised if it protects or switches up. Cause the computer like never ever switches out. Never. Except these weird odd times when it does. Oh crap. Well that yawn's gonna mess me up, but I think I have this idea. And I'm glad I target that thing, cause if I didn't I'd be kinda in trouble. Bye Gyarados. Nice knowing you, buddy. Okay. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but I think Misty Terrain should cancel out the yawn, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna learn something. If it does, oh well. So, I'm gonna go for that Misty Terrain, and hopefully, it works. And if not, oh well. Tentacruel's gone. Thank you. Don't stop by again, please. If arrows get ripped apart by Psychic, that's pretty much the game. But uh, the computer is not that smart again. But we'll see. You really do not like my Spritzy. does not. Hmm. From this range, I really don't think 
dragon pulse will kill it because of misty terrain. This is probably another reason I should get rid of it. It's kind of a dragon on my team. It should learn a safeguard. I'm not sure if it does or not. I have to go check. Oh well. I want to kill this Espeon real quick though. So I don't want him to be yawn switching my team. Endure. Do what you want, buddy. Doesn't matter. You I'm not salty. Not salty. This one of the Peter does make a smart move, but it always surprises me, I guess. Even with huh, that's pretty powerful. Are you freaking <laughs> Oh, Endure weakness policy. I did not think the computer was smart enough for that. I really did not. And apparently my Missy Train did protect against the sleep, so that's good. Wow. I have to get, I have to get props to that. The computer was a lot more smarter than I gave it credit for. A focus sash, of course. Every time I run into Espeon, I always have a focus sash. At least on here, anyway. Some kind of life orb or something else. Or some bright powder. Greedy! No, no, this is not happening right now. It's not. It's not going to happen. Both of you are about to die right now. Ugh, Kintra too. Alright. It's time for to switch out my Spritzy. It's done its work. It's done its work plus then some. Hmm. No, that would be a dumb... Hmm. I'm not sure to switch out to, that's the thing. Okay, idea. I got the idea, my friend. I have the idea. Well, let's have to see if that idea actually plays out. Because you know what to say, the best laid plans never survive first contact. Peace up in my experience. Protect. Okay, computer is getting a little bit smarter. Oh, of course, of course it does. Of course it does. Okay. But there's only two opponents, so I'm not too worried about it. This should wrap up the game, and then we'll go on to the next one. This one more battle. That was not smart. He could have pretty much ripped a new asshole to any of my new Pokemon that he just set up. This is what I mean by the computer not being the smartest thing. But sometimes it's brilliant like that. Endure... Endure... That, I mean, what am I saying? The Endure thing? That was really, really smart. I like that. I'm gonna steal that for something. I'm gonna go for follow me because I don't want Pat to you know get destroyed. And Fang will just go to home clock. You can't really do too much. That should be it. Hit 
Prism Berry. Okay. Not too shabby, I guess. And that's a gain. Good game, Rising Star, that crushed your hopes and dreams. But that's why for you. Oh. I forgot what I was about to say. It doesn't matter. Two measly BP. But it's better than nothing. Only on battle number seven. I think the highest I can recall going up was like 40 something. Then the computer did some really stupid hack shit and then I lost. I mean, you'll be fighting perfectly fine, then you'll be having a Pokemon that carries an item that makes no sense whatsoever, but completely counts as your team. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna throw off our usual strategy here. I don't see no reason not to right now. to go for protect the, the scout out for Pat then I'm gonna <sighs> we'll see I think an earthquake or something or a bulldoze actually a bulldoze will actually help me out a lot hold on for a bulldoze please be a bulldoze please be a bulldoze Okay. This is bad. I don't want that thing setting up on me. I really, really don't. Wow, thanks, buddy. He has absolutely no idea what he just did for me, but thanks. I'll take it. And since mostly our physical attack reflect is in order. And I'm really, really wishing I set up electric terrain on my first turn, but oh well. Go, my friend. Time to sink your fingers into the flesh blood. Earthquake, of course, the earthquake's coming. Well, lucky for me, the computer is being greedy, so I could just go for another one. No, you're not doing this right now. You're not. Okay. I'm going to switch real quick. My spritzy out. I have an idea. I can't have the smartest idea, but I have an idea. I want that leafy on gone. I don't want to set it up either. I mean, the computer's like really greedy. It'll be like setting up sword dancers, calm mind, but the good thing is, you like, it'll be like stuck there. Like, we keep, it'll be setting up when it makes no sense to set up. Thank you, buddy. Keep doing it. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the hard work you do for me. Bye, Gallade. I like Gallade though, I wanna train one. Probably gonna do it on my, one of my new teams coming out. It better not be Hypnosis. It better not be Hypnosis. I have nightmare from that. Every time I go into a battle, into a whatever you like to call it, I run into a Gengar, it's almost always Hypnosis. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go to the gun that is. And Megahorn, assuming the half guy doesn't get to me, should take it, Dolphin out. 
assuming it doesn't have sturdy on a high roll. Oh, close enough. Close enough, anyway. I know when I was doing a little calcs, um, a mega horn from the, my arrows has like a 50 50 percent chance to OKO a uh, mega king that's not at full health. That's pretty powerful. What did, I, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I called it. I called it wrong before it actually happened. Do I have one more time of trick room? No, I'm in trouble. Uh, that fairy typing too, though. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, I'm getting rid of that Gengar. Even though it's like double resist, I don't want to take a chance of it not missing, that Mega Horn missing. But I never really understood why Ghost resist. No, I mean, not. I mean, Bug. What am I saying? I never understood. Why bug attack is resisted by ghosts? That only really makes sense to me. I mean, normal does, but I don't know. <sighs> okay. I think the only reason I will. Evolves my Spritzy because it doesn't have Hill Post, and there's been situations like right now when Hill Post would like really, really help me. No, no, no. Oh, I'll grab it. About the. <laughs> but really, if it did, if it did hypnosis on my Spritzy, I would have been up a creek to be sure. Tell you, I hate hypnosis on these battles, man. They spam it until you die. If you have no count off for hypnosis and stuff on these teams, you're gonna get ripped from the asshole. I'll just say that much. <sighs> okay. battle. Assuming there's no other hacks or anything. And there you have it folks. Can't go on overtime. Eh, doesn't matter. What do you got from another 2 BP? Thanks my friend, I'll take it. You know what, this part has it because it's been a while, I'll do one more bonus battle for you guys. I came for my big brother, who always hides in his room. Hmm, maybe we'll lie. Alright Preston, let's see what you got little man. Okay, a good Gudra, Vileplume, and we'll stay at last one. And a Carbink. Carbink's pretty slow. I predict the fairy move coming, my only time to evolve, so I'm gonna hold off doing it.
Let's see how this goes. Actually, that would probably help me out a lot. Uh, those are some of the screens. That's gonna be a pain in the ass for sure. Oh well. Bring on the challenge, I say. I think most of yeah, most of these are special attackers, so a light screen should do it. Man, nothing's gonna be able to kill that filter because of that huh. that life screen plus it is natural special bow because pretty much everything's gonna not gonna be chip damage. Ugh that's gonna be a pain. Eridos my friend. I hope you're ready to really pull out your A game today because you're gonna be putting on have to be putting on a lot of work to get past these screens. A lot of work. to risk it and go for a flight just in case. And assuming our Mega Horn shouldn't miss, that should, you know, retire Guga for now. That little 85% accuracy has the times to miss when it really counts. There we go. So this card being, from what I've seen so far, pretty much a pure support Pokemon. And you're just gonna spam... You know what? That's fine. Kangaskhan, my most hated nemesis. Okay. If it weren't for these stupid screens, I would. Yeah. You know what? These two are too much of a stress. I can't play around. I need to take out at least one more. I forget to fake out. No, just go for it. The worst you can do is fake out one of them. I'm not worried about it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. I know it wasn't the same as taking out a Mega Kangaskhan, but that kind of gives you an idea that I wasn't pulling that out of my ass. I really can't take out a Mega Kangaskhan at full health. Did I... Oh, I... You know... You know what? I can't even make an excuse for that. I meant to switch out to... The, it for something, but Anthony doing rook, and then it kind of screwed me over. Oh well. <sighs> okay. Okay. Ah, this damn light screen is screwing me over.
much to do. Alright, let's go for the course it gets right away. Of course it does. They get arrows putting in that work. Not to at this point, so I am just going to mega evolve and then try to go for the kill. Now, hopefully, that should be it. If that wasn't really too hackly or too bad, this is kind of annoying, mostly. I could show that fabulous hair. Probably got his commercials going on right now. Where are you gonna pedal that? That's for resistance, it's not gonna do anything. And you're confused. Well, oh, he has a berry. Surprise there. And by surprise, I'm being completely sarcastic. Stealth rocks? This is triple, buddy. No one uses stealth rocks. I mean, you can if you want to. More power to you, but I don't see it being really even useful. And this should be game. We should call it a day for now. Arados is putting in all kinds of work. He pretty much carried a, a whole team on his back. I wish my brother would come out of the room and play with me. Aw, oh, come on, old man. I'll cheer it up. I'm sure I'll play with you the next time. Well, that was pretty cool. And, my friends, I'm going to be cutting it out for now. We'll probably have a few more battles later on. Get some few more lead by battles. But for now, I'm going to call it short. Call it a day. And then I'll be talking to you guys later, and as always, have a good one.